Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss the problematic questions which will definitely come in business statistics examination in part A that is concurrent deviation and harmonic mean which definitely one or two methods they may ask in part A that too problematic. In this video, we will calculate how we need to calculate concurrent deviation, how we need to calculate harmonic mean everything we will discuss in this video where you can easily score four marks in part a okay so this is an important class students uh, for the semester three students become so now we will discuss about the concurrent deviation as well as the harmonic mean firstly we will discuss about the concurrent deviation students okay so in concurrent deviation what is the formula rc is equal to plus or minus under root plus or minus 2 minus sorry 2c minus n by n this is the formula of the concurrent deviation they will give the question we need to substitute this uh, that question in the formula now we will discuss about the examination question which they have asked in the examination so now we will discuss about that now okay so this is the formula just note down this formula for the concurrent deviation now we are discussing about the question we will calculate that question okay so what is the question in question x and y they have given okay x y they have given they have given some values 200 x 250 250 and uh, 290 275 and 300 and 250 and in the same way 45 50 60 55 and uh, 62 50 this is the question we need to what they have asked calculate the coefficient of correlation and by concurrent deviation method concurrent deviation method we need to calculate okay so how we need to calculate students so just a minute uh, okay this is the question so what is the formula rc is equal to plus or minus under root plus or minus 2c minus n by n this is the formula n is equal to uh, like n minus 1 okay n minus 1 so this is the question how we need to substitute this question into an answer now we will discuss so so here I am writing the solution. Okay. So X. What they have given in X to 200, 250. Y is equal to here I am writing again 45, 50. Okay. And 290, 60, 275, 55, 300, 62, 250 and 50. This is the question. We need to calculate dx how we need to calculate dx dx is the same just given hyphen first number is the zero hyphen okay and the second number 200 is less than 250 250 is more than 200 200 number karna 250 number equal undi kada equa unte plus symbol vetkondi and 250 tho compare chesukunte 290 pedda ga undi kada pedda number kada plus compared to 290 275 is less Ka, 290 pedda na, 275 pedda na, 290 pedda. So minus 275 pedda na, 300 pedda na, 300 pedda plus 300 is bigger or, or 250 is bigger, 300 is bigger. This is a minus. X values is over. Now same dy. First number is same. 50 is more than 45 plus symbol. 60 is more than 50 plus symbol. 55 is less than 60 minus minus symbol. 62 is more than 55 plus symbol. 50 is less than 62 minus symbol okay the another column is dx dy dx and dy so how we need to calculate plus into plus 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 into plus plus minus into minus plus plus into plus plus minus into minus plus how many plus we have got 1 2 3 4 5 5 is the c 
c is equal to 5. In formula, we want 2c. How we need to calculate c? Like this only you need to calculate. For example, here you are having minus. Plus into minus, minus. So, like this you need to understand the plus and minus. Okay, c is equal to 5. Okay. So, now we need to substitute this in a formula. How we need to substitute? R equal to plus or minus under root plus or minus 2c minus n by n. This is the formula. Rc is equal to plus or minus under root plus or minus 2. C is how much? 5. 2 into 5 minus n. n is how much? 6 minus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 n is your number of observation is 6. Minus 1 is equal to 5. n is 5. Divided by n is 5. We need to substitute that. 2, 5 is a 10. 10 minus 5, 5. Plus or minus like this. Okay. So, here how you get plus or minus 5 divided by 5. 5 ones are 5 ones are. Rc is equal to 1. This is about the concurrent deviation. Just they will give x and y values. You need to find out dx, dy, dx into dy. Plus into plus plus, plus into minus minus, minus into plus plus, plus into minus minus. Okay. So, this type of things you need to learn. And after that we will get the c. c means what? Total plus symbols how many we are having. For example, here we have got 5 plus. For suppose here we have only uh, got 4 plus and 1 minus. How what will be the c? 4, not 5. Okay. So, now we will, I, have, I will give you the question. Just make and practice that question. And uh, tell me in the comment section whether you got that question uh, answer. Okay. So, the question is x is equal to 200, 250, 350, 275, 400 and 500. y is equal to 50, 45, 60, 62, 55 and 40. You need to calculate this and you please comment me in the comment section. Definitely I will answer the answer in the comment section whether you have practiced or not. Uh, whether the answer is correct or not I will get to know. Okay. So like this you need to calculate the concurrent deviation in part A which consisting of 4 marks simple 4 marks. Now we will discuss about the harmonic mean students. Okay. Harmonic mean. Okay. So now we will discuss about the question and the formula how we need to calculate. Firstly what is the formula of form harmonic mean? Hm is equal to n by sigma 1 by x. This is the formula of harmonic mean. How we need to for, uh, calculate this harmonic mean? Now we will discuss into a question. So what will be the question x they have given? What is the question x? Uh, uh, like this they have given 70. 90, 178, 152 and 174 and they have said to find the harmonic mean. Okay, how we will find the harmonic mean? 1 by x, this is an x formula. 1 divided by 70, you will get the x. Right, after finding that, you will get like this for example, I will calculate it now. Okay, so this is the question. How we need to calculate x column and 1 by x, you want 1 by x, x is equal to 70, 90, 178, 152 and 174. If 1 divided by 70, what will be the answer? 0 0.01. 1 divided by 90, what will be the answer? 0 0.01. Okay, so 1 divided by 178, what will be the answer? 0 0.0056. 1 divided by 152, 0 0.0066. Okay, 1 divided by 174, 0 0.0057. 
like this we have calculated we need to total of this total of this is what will be the value 0 0.0433 we have got the total of 1 by x column just we need to substitute in the formula what will be the formula n by sigma 1 by x right n is equal number of observation is 5 1 2 3 4 5 5 divided by 0 0.0433 then you will get the harmonic answer like 115.473 okay they have given x column just we are adding 1 divided by 70 1 divided by 90 1 divided by 178 1 divided by 152 1 divided by 174 like this we are dividing and totaling the column 0 0.44 0 0.0433 we have got after getting the answer we are substituting in the formula what is the formula of hm like harmonic mean n by sigma 1 by x so n means number of observation how many numbers you have 1 2 3 4 5 5 divided by this 1 by x 0 0.0433 this is the harmonic mean 5 divided by 0 0.443 means 115.473 so this is the harmonic mean which they will ask for 4 mark compulsory okay try to practice this i will give an another important homework question okay so and also the another thing what they will ask means for example x they have given ma f also they have given okay x they have given x also they have given 2 3 7 8 5 6 okay and 5 7 6 2 9 3 like this they have given they have said to calculate the harmonic mean how we need to ha calculate harmonic mean they have given x in previous video only f x only they have given like n divided by sigma f by x this is the formula students okay so sigma f by x just we need to calculate f into x so x column f column you are doing and fx column f divided by 5 divided by 2 2 7 divided by 3 6 divided by 7 2 divided by 8 9 divided by 5 3 divided by 6 we need to add all the amount here and we need to total the amount here number of observation is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 divided by this is the form answer you need to attempt means you will get the harmonic mean okay x f is the name of sigma n by sigma f by x this is the formula only x is the harmonic mean find out che ali n by 1 by x if x f is not given what you will do 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 3, 1 divided by 7, 1 divided by 8, 1 divided by 5, 1 divided by 6. Like this you need to do. You will do. Okay. So this is about the harmonic mean. Okay. Concurrent deviation and harmonic mean was over. So out of these two uh, question problematic, definitely they will ask one problematic question in part A. Either they may ask concurrent deviation or else harmonic deviation. Try to practice both. I hope that you have got clarity about this topic. I hope that you have got understood. I will try to uh, answer it okay so video ni concentrate ga chooste ardham aitadi ma because board anedi chaala takko undi kabatti whatever i am saying you just concentrate on that uh, some of them are saying that video clarity baga ledhu ani antunaru so video di pakkana pedthe whatever i am explaining whatever the audio clarity is there that is enough to understand the concept what is the formula of concurrent deviation rc is equal to plus or minus under root plus or minus 2c by minus n by n n means number of observation minus 1 this is a concurrent deviation harmonic formula is n divided by sigma 1 by x or sigma f by x whatever it may be 
so this is about the concurrent deviation as well as the harmonic mean which is very 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 much useful for the short students i hope that you have got clarity about this topic if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and groups because this will be useful for them also in upcoming videos i will tell, definitely tell explain about the topics in business statistics like rank correlation carl pearson coefficient of correlation bowley so everything i will upload it okay so don't don't worry about this uh, thing ma all the very best for your examination as well as the preparation so once again all the very best uh, do like share and subscribe to our channel see you all next video bye bye